Welcome to another studio tutorial. We're now going to talk about absolute positioning for your elements and when it might come in handy. Absolute position is similar to fixed position, but instead of fixing an element to a corner of your web page, ignoring positions of all elements around it, you can instead set an absolute position to the corner of any parent element, ignoring the positions of sibling elements. Here we have a clothing website, and if we scroll down, we have some categories here. And it might be nice to add a 50% off badge to the women's category. Now let's drag a box into this parent element here and you'll see that I can only stack this above or below this text. And if I stack this below, for example, if I resize this, the text is going to change the position based on the size of this box. Now if we want to use absolute position, we can come over here and let's change this to absolute. And now no other elements are affected by the position or size of this box. And we can go ahead and pin this to the top right here. And the first thing you want to do is change this to be, let's start off with a 200 pixel by 200 pixel box. And we can set the radius to be 50% and that's going to make a nice little circle here. And we can just drag in some text directly inside of the circle. So let's make this 50% off. And we can make this 900 weight. And that's starting to look really good. We want to make this white and let's make this circle, this pink color here. And so it's looking really good and now we can set the distance here from the top corner. Once we do that, I'm just going to resize this and we can also change this here. So 150 pixels by 150 pixels. And now that we've done that, let's resize our web page and you can see that that always stays fixed on the top right. Now, one thing you might notice when you're setting absolute positions is if you drag this element outside of its parent element, that's going to be completely hidden. Now, this isn't something you want to do, but we can actually use this to our advantage. So let's say we want to grab this text here. Let's pin this to the bottom left and let's add a little bit of margin, something like that. And then we can change the size a little bit, just play around with it. And we can hide parts of this element here just to give it a little bit of design aesthetics. And now when we resize this, it's still going to be absolute position as before. And any of the overlapping elements are going to be hidden outside of that parent element. Now let's look at another example. If we scroll down here, we can see four different products. And if we want to mark one of these products on sale, we can grab this box here and we can stack it right on top of this shirt image. And now as I move this around, it's going to move relative to all the other elements inside of this box. But I'm going to just set this to absolute position now and it's going to pin this to the top left. So I'm going to come over here and pin this to the top right. And let's make it a little bit wider here. And I'll go ahead and add some text inside. And I'll just put on sale. And let's change a bit of these colors here. And once we do that, we can make this font a little bit smaller. And pin this right to the top right corner. So now that we've done this, we can go ahead and try to resize our web page. And we can see if we scroll down here now, even on the mobile where it breaks down, it stays fixed onto that element. And those are just a few ways you can use absolute positioning to pin elements inside of other elements.